somewhere beyond the solar system's outermost edge, farther than any human hand has ever reached, Voyager 2 is silently gliding through the void between stars. However, what it just sent back is not merely a different measurement or an echoing signal into faraway space. It is a picture of final image. Furthermore, what that image showed was so unanticipated, so well-organized, and so out of place in the universe's infinite randomness that it sent shockwaves through the deepest corners of the scientific community. A geometric anomaly, intelligent-looking, disturbingly intentional, and not accidental captured by a plutonium-powered probe guided by commands typed decades ago. But how can it be that this older machine, outdated compared to modern systems, has now taken on the role of revealing something that might not come easily at all? Was Voyager to followed? Did it enter a zone where physics itself behaves differently? Or has it stumbled upon an event never intended to be viewed? This is not an accident. This is a mathematical warning sign, encoded at the end, woven in light frames from the voyage of Voyager 2. And if you think the universe is empty, think again. When Voyager 2 launched in 1977, it carried humanity's greatest optimistic gesture, a golden disc filled with greetings, music, and sounds of Earth. A time capsule aimed at whoever or whatever might find it. That was the message, or so we conceived. But nearly 50 years later, what Voyager 2 has brought back suggests something far more chilling, a response. The image retrieved from the final data burst was not meant to be possible not with its failing cameras, not from this far away. Yet, when analyzed using a quantum AI system designed to scan for patterns invisible to the naked eye, it revealed a structure. Neither planet nor star, not dust nor plasma, but a lattice, precise, symmetrical, and constant throughout numerous frames, a particular order that defies chance and whispers of design. Worse still, it remained fixed in relative position to the spacecraft as if orbiting it, or tracking it. Scientists at NASA were quick to rule out hardware failure. The anomaly wasn't only captured by one camera, it appeared across multiple instruments, layered in different wavelengths and time intervals. When mapped, the structure revealed repeating Fibonacci ratios and prime number spacings. So profoundly mathematical that one physicist described it as the universe directing a coded glare at us. But deep space doesn't produce structures like this, especially not ones that adapt. That's right, as Voyager's sensors continuously scanned, the anomaly shifted slightly, as if responding to observation. The effect was eerily reminiscent of the observer effect in quantum mechanics, but not at the atomic scale. This was kilometers wide. How does an object respond to observation unless it's aware? And if it's aware, then it may not be natural. It might be artificial or worse, alive. To understand what Voyager to might have encountered, we must accept an unsettling truth. Our solar system's outer edge is more than a line of plasma and particles, it's a phase change region where space's very fabric begins to transform. Quantum mechanics, gravity, spacetime, beyond the heliopause life phenomena we have never modeled. It is the cosmic twilight zone where, in Einstein's words, the lines start to blur bending into quantum dialects. The structure captured in Voyager's image fits no known model of interstellar matter. It does not reflect light but specific frequencies. It casts no shadow but disrupts magnetic fields. It might not even reside in our dimension at all. Some suggest what Voyager saw was a projection and intersecting higher dimensional object bleeding into our space. In layman's terms, a shadow from another universe. And now, it follows a machine we built in the 1970s technology no more advanced than a pocket calculator. But the shape was only the beginning. After parsing the data, the quantum AI discovered something buried deep in the anomaly's sequences. Not random signals, but ordered mathematics, prime numbers, Fibonacci spirals, geometric symmetries identical to the exact mathematical language inscribed on Voyager's golden record. The designs matched humanity's own attempt to define a universal Rosetta Stone for alien minds. And then came the shocking turn. Not only was the response similar, it was mirroring. 
as if something out there had not only received our message but comprehended it. And now, it was replying with a structure encoding the same language. Only this time, the message was detected not decades ago, not five years ago but now, as though it had been waiting, silently, for us to develop the intelligence to recognize it. Meanwhile, the public was given vague statements about unusual data artifacts. But behind NASA's sealed conference rooms, something very different was unfolding. Internal email leaks Disclosed that top scientists at the highest level were told not to speak to the press about the image or the patterns within it that appeared mirrored. Rapid changes in communication protocols followed. The data streams from Voyager were redirected and encrypted inside private quantum labs. Why? Because the consequences were to destabilizing for physics, religion, science, and geopolitics itself. An unidentified systems engineer described the atmosphere as resembling a Cold War warning. It wasn't just fear of destruction, but fear of contact. Because if Voyager's image was genuinely a response, then it meant the experiment had ended. The signal came from us, then something said something back, and now it is too late to change it. As the news leaked through unofficial channels, the scientific community began to divide. On one side, traditionalists insisted the structure could be explained by an identified interstellar dust formations or gravitational lensing effects, but others, especially those in theoretical physics and quantum field modeling, weren't convinced. Several documents briefly uploaded to RC before vanishing within hours claimed the data matched predicted behaviors that could only be created by artificially manipulated quaternary fields. In layman's terms, fields designed, not born of nature. These theorists argued that Voyager had reached a restricted region of space where data itself could be rearranged, shaped, or even encoded visually. A physicist compared the image to a glyph something between a symbol and a command. Then came the unthinkable suggestion, greater than. What if this was not merely a response? What if it was an invitation? Despite Voyager's magnetometers far exceeding their expected lifespan, data began emerging that defied understanding. Near the object, the magnetic field pulses were not sporadic, they arrived at predetermined, dependable intervals. Like a lighthouse, like a heartbeat, even more unsettling, the intervals between pulses formed a Fibonacci progression, mirroring the same sequences embedded in the structure of the object itself. For decades, we have searched for alien life in radio waves and the atmospheres of exoplanets. But what Voyager to may have discovered is something far more sophisticated, not a civilization leaving behind radio signals or wreckage, but a pattern crafted in such a way that only intelligence could recognize it. And we just did. A terrifying thought began to take hold not in public journals, but in private meetings between physicists, analysts, and AI theorists. What if Voyager's image wasn't of an object? What if it was a reflection? Not figuratively, but literally. A space distortion that is responsive, dynamic turning toward us like a mirror the moment we looked too deeply. Some suggested Voyager hadn't captured something new at all, but had instead activated something dormant. A sentient mechanism, a surveillance field invisible to the rest of our equipment, now awakened. Voyager, drifting silently into darkness, had revealed a picture that should not exist. We may have crossed a threshold never meant to be crossed where the observers become the observed. For nearly 50 years, Voyager has sailed through the void, carrying our hopes as a species too young to know what it was truly asking. We etched our music, our math, even our heartbeat into a golden record and hurled it into the unknown hoping someone might one day find it. But deep down, we never believed they would respond. Until now, the final image Voyager to captured is more than just a snapshot, it's a rupture. A blemish on our understanding of what lies beyond. A geometric echo of ourselves reflected back in forms to precise, to deliberate, to be random. It's not a star, not a planet, not gas, dust, or comet. It is something else, something that waits, something that thinks, something that mirrors, and worst of all, something that seems to understand us. We once believed we were sending our message into emptiness. 
But Voyager's final act may have confirmed the most ancient fear, that we were never alone. Not in this galaxy, not in this dimension, not even in silence. Now, with just one picture, that silence has been broken. The sky is no longer quiet because of a flash of light. If this revelation unsettled you, if it made you question everything we thought we knew about solitude, time, and space, then do not leave in silence. Stay connected. Listen to the transmissions others fear to acknowledge, because Voyager's final message may not be its last.